Hey guys, Michael Troy here. Uh, today we're gonna do a little unboxing of sorts, so let's get right into it. Okay, so normally I do a lot of uh, videos on um, art and artists and comic book art, and uh, today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, I'm a huge John Byrne fan, a huge Alpha Flight fan, and so I belong to this group called Burn Victims on Facebook, and I became friends with this super cool guy who's a huge Alpha Flight and uh, Aurora fan. Aurora is my favorite Alpha member, and he's a digital sculptor for Privateer Press. They make uh, uh, toys and uh, game pieces and stuff like that. And uh, his name is Doug Hamilton. His handles uh, Necromancer120 on DeviantArt if you want to check out his art. And just for fun, he made a set of Alpha Flight figures. And so I'm going to show them. I guess they're little game pieces. So we'll start out with the littlest one here. Everyone's favorite acrobat, Puck. Can you see that? Look how small that is. Um, I think I was expecting some, like I wanted something that I could play with because I like action figures and dolls and stuff. But you know, this is uh, super cool. Check out that detail. Like, you can see Puck and he's in his, you know, acrobatic, like uh, this looks like, uh, I, and I think he did, oh my God, my nails look like crap, sorry guys. But um, this is like the cover of Alpha Flight issue five where he's like, it's and now Puck and he's like bursting off the page. So that is freaking cool. I just look at all that detail and what a talented sculptor he is. You can see all the muscles in his arm and the little details on the soles of his uh, boots. I mean, that is freaking cool. That is definitely like, you know how sometimes uh, they make figures or uh, things and the likeness just is so not there. A, a lot of times with toys, I would say. So let's just put Puck over in the corner here. Nobody puts Puck in the corner. Uh, there was a debate recently over what Puck was named after. And I'm like, hello, they're all Canadian cliches. So clearly he's named after a hockey puck. And then there's argument. Um, so I guess there's a, some Shakespearean play with a character named Puck and um, it sort of fits the uh, description. Okay, so we're moving on to another, the next figure. And this is one of my least favorite elephants, and uh, you're all gonna hate me for that, but it's uh, Heather McDonald Hudson as Vindicator. But once again, this is a beautiful sculpt. Look at her. I mean, that is just amazing. And uh, I mean, he really captures the, the gracefulness of like somebody in flight so beautifully. And I always loved her vis visor. I don't the, I don't know why I don't like her. Uh, I think I just, I like her as a character. I just don't like her as Vindicator. I think Guardian, Vindicator, whatever. Um, Mac got the short end of the stick and, um, you know, uh, Burns said he was like the most boring one, but I don't know, you know, the characters are only as boring as the writer, right? Not that John Byrne is a boring writer by any stretch of the imagination. So, who do we have next? Isn't this fun? I mean, seriously, these need to be mass produced. Now this, they're all quite beautiful, but this one is a particularly striking piece of the collection, and that's uh, Snowbird right there. See the other Canadian cliche, like the snowbirds who live in Canada, and then they go to Florida for the winter. Um, or vice versa or whatever. Anyway, look how gorgeous she is. Um, one of the great um, designs, Alpha Flight, I love the original designs of the team. You know, they're all very cohesive. If you look at it, <clears throat> um, they could definitely be in the same, uh, you know, uh, Ice Capades uh, troop. Look, he's got like her, all the detail in her headdress and the stone and just, like capturing the look, like this is, uh, this is, I want to say the splash page from like issue 15, a very similar pose. I love that he honored like traditional burn poses. I believe uh, Doug did mention that to me in conversation, as opposed to um, when I read his mind, because I do that. <laughs> when people aren't looking, I just like to swoop in and read their minds. Let's see, who is our next character? I'm trying to save like the best for last, but they're all the best, so there's no. Okay, speaking of the devil, 
we're moving on to Guardian slash Mac slash Vindicator. Okay, so the funny reason why they didn't want him to be called Guardian is because Jim Shooter was like, no, Guardians of the Galaxy, we don't want to confuse them, blah, 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 whatever. Look at that beautiful, look how powerful he looks. Look at those glutes, I just have to say. Look at the great sculpt on that. It's freaking amazing. I mean, you can just see these characters like flying up. I, some, the limited amount of sets, I think he just did this for fun and friends. And so I'm like super lucky to have these. Um, anyway, so uh, because of the Guardians of the Galaxy, he changed it to Vindicator, but he's like, Canada has nothing to vindicate. So uh, a couple issues later, he changed it back to Guardian and nobody noticed. And um, who knew the Guardians of the Galaxy would blow up the way they did now. Okay, so that is, who do we have next? Okay, you guys are gonna like this one. The unofficial, yet first Alfin himself. <laughs> This is kind of funny, so bear with me, but, um, so do you recognize, do you recognize this man? This, this short, uh, headless, armless, furry Canadian? Let me get some of his limbs and, uh, extremities out here for you. So, here's his, I th this was done, I don't know anything about game pieces, so I don't know if these are, like, Variants or alternates. Oh, did his claws, maybe they melted in the drawer. I live in Los Angeles, it gets hot here. But anyway, how about a little head, Wolverine? Oh, there it is. Okay, I mean, come on now. I, obviously, this is he doesn't sculpt it this size because, I mean, that would be like magic and shit. But um, look at how amazing that is. I love the color, too. I don't think, I, I, I thought I wanted to have them painted at first, but I like them pure like this. And I'm not gonna glue them to each other or put them on stands or anything, just cause I think they're so beautiful. I'd love to display them, so maybe I'll change my stance on that. But um, um, but for right now, I'm gonna leave them in their perfect form. Oh, how could I, I, I wanted to do this one before Wolverine because I'm trying to put them in order of excitement. And most people would think Wolverine would be last, but alas, he's not. This one is super cool. Look at that, Shaman. The, I mean, I think that's the coolest I've ever seen Shaman look because, I mean, how cool can an old doctor with braids and his hair look? But I mean, this is definitely, once again, if you're an alpha fan, I mean, these are just coming to light for you, correct? Because look at that, so gorgeous, all that detail. And I'm loving this silver color. I'm, Gonna have to ask him, I'm so embarrassed. I don't know if it's pewter or what the heck it's made out of, but um, definitely, I mean, just beautiful. I think he's might be doing a second series, I'm begging him. I want Marina, I want Talisman, I want, who do I want? Ooh, Diamond Lil, she would be good, right? Um, all right, so. The last piece is a wow factor, even though these two are my favorite right here, I'm gonna save the wow factor for last. It's the climax of the whole thing. Now, if this hasn't gotten you to want to subscribe by now, I don't know what will, so hit that button, baby. All right, here comes the excitement. Whoosh, whoosh. My beloved twins. Oh, there she is, Aurora. Look at how amazing. Oh, and her brother. And if they touch hands, oh, that was, I didn't mean for them to kiss. It's, this is an ultimate Avengers. Whoosh. I mean, can you just see them flying? Like, I totally, oh, Jean-Paul, oui, Jean-Marie. Oh, I'm not gonna do any more French, that's terrible. But anyway, I am living for this Aurora North Star, and, you know, I'm so happy that I have the whole set, but these are really, like, I would just be happy with these two, and I could die happy. I mean, I think that's the best. Like, there's a couple of Aurora uh, action figures and some, uh, you know, custom sculpts that I've seen. But these, I mean, I hope I I don't know. This man is talented. What can I say? I feel I feel privileged to know a man with such talent. I and mean, these are just beautiful. He's done some other things. Um, I'm gonna try to acquire. Uh, he did a great uh, magic from New Mutants and 
she's my favorite new mutant. <clears throat> um, love these characters. These are just beautiful. I just can't even, obviously I could go on and on and on, but I just love these so much. I think I'm going to do a photo shoot because they look fantastic. And now I was saying the wow factor for last because who's missing from the picture? Who haven't we seen yet? But Sasquatch. Oh my God, look at that amazing Sasquatch. I mean, is that killer or what? Look at the face. I mean, it's so, I don't know, it's like so next level. It's like, I would love to see, I don't know, a CGI cartoon or just, I don't know what I wanna see, but these are amazing. And he, yes, he does have arms. Um, I'm just not gonna glue them on. I don't know, tell me in the comments if you guys collect things like this, is it, am I better off? You know, I think part of me just wants to enjoy them and, you know, have them on display and figure it out. I think Wolverine must have another head. <laughs> so I don't know why he would uh, have a detachable head for no reason. Um, anyway, so his arms, look at those cool ass, like silver arms. These are, this is just amazing. I just, it, sculpt, I'm an artist, but I'm like a, a pencil, pen and ink, digital artist, whatever. And I don't know, these sculpting just makes me want to sculpt. They're so beautiful. So there's Sasquatch, as we said. I'm just gonna show you them all one more time. And um, maybe we'll, oh yeah, we can do a group shot here. So there's Sasquatch and North Star and Aurora and Headless Wolverine. There's his arms and his limbs flying everywhere. There's his head. Damn it, Wolverine. <laughs> Get your head together. There's Vindicator and Guardian, Snowbird and Shaman, and now Puck. Isn't that so cool? I mean, look at how gorgeous they are. I'm so happy I own these. Uh, like I said, Doug Hamilton is the sculptor. Um, such a great collection, beautiful little pieces. Thanks so much for letting me share them with you. And uh, please comment and let me know if you guys uh, think I should have them painted or put on display or sell them for a million bucks because I know that's what I would pay for them if I didn't already have them. Anyway, hit like, subscribe, and I will check you guys out later. Thanks. See ya.